In this video, I am going to show you how to turn on dark mode in Google Sheets. So sometimes when working in Google Sheets, you may want to have a dark background or a black background um, to make it easier on the eyes. Dark mode themes have gained a lot of popularity in recent years. And depending on the device you are working on, you may even have a built-in setting to automatically change your Google Sheets to dark mode. So I'm gonna show in this video a couple different ways. The first way is going to be changing your theme to dark mode, which only works on a smartphone device. And then the next way would be changing to dark mode on a computer, which there's not really a built-in way to do this, but there's a few workaround methods we can use. So. If you are using the Google Sheets app on your smartphone, that's the first thing I will show. There is a built-in theme for dark mode, so that is easily done. So what I have here are screenshots of my phone, and I'm going to walk you through how to set your phone to dark mode um, in the Google Sheets app. So what you want to do is open the Google Sheets app and then click on this three line menu. It should be in the top left corner. And then from the menu, you're gonna select settings right here. And then there will be a theme section and you wanna press the choose theme button. And from here, you just select dark. And then your Google Sheets app should be displaying like this, which is dark mode. So again, if you're on like a smartphone device, there is a built-in theme for dark mode. If you are on a computer, there is not a theme for that, so we have to use some workaround methods. So now, if you're on a computer, one option that you have for setting Google Sheets to dark mode is by using what's called flags, which is, um, it's sort of in beta right now, but I'll just show you um, what it is. So what you want to do with this method is open a new tab and search Chrome flags. And then what you want to do is navigate down to the section that says dark mode. So what this setting is going to do is it is going to set everything in your browser to dark mode. So that is one drawback with this method is that when you set this, everything in your browser will be in dark mode, not just sheets. So that what you want to do is select this button here and select enabled, and then you'll have to relaunch Google Sheets. So I'm not going to do this, but that would be how you do this method. Now, one thing to note with this method is again this chrome flags thing is kind of in a beta testing stage and it really could affect your browser performance in a lot of different ways so use these settings at your own risk they even have a warning message at the top that you probably want to take some time to read here um, so i'm not going to enable this i'm just going to leave it on default and that would be one option on a computer is using the Chrome flag settings. But again, remember that will change everything in your browser to dark mode, not just sheets. So the last option if you're on a computer is manually change your background to black and your text to white, kind of using a makeshift dark mode. Now this isn't really a perfect method, but if you don't want to change the settings of everything on your computer in your browser, this might be the only other option you have. So I'm just going to highlight everything and then I'm going to do black and then I'll change my text color to white. And then you have the, a black background and white text. Whoops. So that is another option if you're on a computer. So that is how to change Google Sheets to dark mode. Again, it works best if you're using the phone app because it's a built-in theme setting. If you're on a computer, you either have to use Chrome flags 
or you can manually change your background darker and leave your text white, which is a workaround method. I think eventually Google Sheets will release a dark mode theme for a computer, so it is only a matter of time in my opinion, but for now, these are the best ways to do this. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.